Welcome to a new World Blazing, an exclusive look at life on the road, Noel Gallagher's high flying birds. From behind the scenes to front of stage, these wonderful, stunning pictures taken by renowned photographer Sharon Latham really capture the band at their most dynamic and their most intimate. And for the first time ever, these images of Noel and his bandmates have been curated to form a very special exhibition. And I'm in Manchester to chat to Sharon about her story and working with Noel. I was very lucky to shoot Oasis at Main Road and at the Etihad back in the day. But I think it was 2009 I first shot Noel and Liam on the pitch, yeah. Carlos Tevez I think it was. And um, that, was, that was the meeting of minds then and then slowly over time, every time I turned up Noel was going to be there so I'd get asked to go to the chairman's lounge. So it was like, oh you're here again, oh, alright Shaz, how are you? <laughs> so I'd end up sitting down having a chat and a drink and then over time there was that many shoots and Noel got involved in some of the um, film city TV stuff as well so I got more and more involved with him. Yeah. And then I remember telling him that I was leaving, he was like, no, no, you can't do that. Because again, what I would do as well, I would capture moments for him on pitch. Yeah. So that I've got a picture of him with Sergio Aguero on the pitch and then he's got that in his house because he's literally hugging Sergio and he's got the captain's armband on oh, as well. Oh, wow. So those are things and I sent that to him and he's like, love this. Yeah. So when I said I'm leaving, he's like, no, you, you can't. Who am I going to get my photos off? What are you going to do? And I said, I'll come on tour with you. And he went, all right. Seriously. That was it? Yeah. I love it. I remember doing an interview at the boot launch and he, t he told the same story. And apparently Russ, his bass player, did exactly the same thing. He rang him up and said, hey, 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 you're starting a band. Uh, you've got a bass player. <laughs> yeah, that was it. So if you see my number on the internet, right, and you can do something that's vaguely fucking worthwhile. Give him a call. I'd say, Friday nights yeah. is your best bet. I'm going to, I'm going to take you back first. Of that Takes story. me back, back in time. Back in time. Was there a moment where you knew that photography was something that was going to be full time, that it was going to be your life, that you were going to explore? It's a, it's a weird one because my dad died when I was eight and it was his love of photography then that, and his passion for it that made me want to pick it up and do it, even at eight years old. Wow. It just felt like it was dad. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, look what that inspiration's yeah. produced. I think he'd be chuffed. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Yeah. You could walk around here and see what you've done. I'd be, be amazing. Chuffed. Yeah. Being the first female full-time photographer at Premier League Club, a very male-dominated world. Did you feel that kind of, you know, that... Oh, that 100%. Yeah. It's very, very male-dominated. However, I'm not a shy person. And I think, I've said this before to many people about being a photographer, 80% of it is how you make people feel yeah. and your character. The 20% is the technical knowledge and, and understanding of, of being a photographer. But the 80% is definitely personality, and I think you've got to have a strong personality, whether you're male or female, yeah. to work in football. Do you know what's really nice is we are here in Manchester, but we're here right in the heart of your exhibition. How does that feel? Unreal and cool <laughs> and uh, really exciting, really good. Being here in Manchester as well in particular, there's this brilliant picture at Manchester Arena. Yeah. For me, that was the first time I'd photographed at the arena since the bombing and it was with Noel and I just found it very overwhelming. Oh, here's my yeah, house. Yeah, honestly, because I've shot, I, this is my local area, this is my local <coughs> town, this is, you know, the venues here are brilliant and the arena is a brilliant place to shoot. But that was the first gig for me back and it was, um, yeah, I remember sitting on the stage and, and literally crying as I was photographing, which is unusual for me because I'm not a wimp. I'm a tough girl. But yeah, when you see them all stood up and I mean, it, it's epic when you see Noel on stage and you're on that point of view, which is an unusual point of view. Mm. I don't know how singers cope when you hear those lyrics being sung at you so loud and so emotionally. Yeah. And especially in your hometown like that, I just found it very, very overwhelming. But it was it was incredible. And there's that one shot for me. Noel's only quite insignificant in the corner. He's not the important part no, of that picture. No, the rest of it is just the, the whole crowd and the hands and the phones and all of it. And my daughter's in that picture. Can you see her? Yeah. Oh, I love that. Yeah. It's 
this is like a this is like a kind of like a comic book strip almost in a way. The it story was of such it. a fun day, and we had no idea where we were going. And when we got there, it was a two-hour drive. And it was in the middle of nowhere. And it was the Joshua Tree Desert. Oh, wicked. So there was everything from trees growing out the ground upside down. It was unbelievable. And then Noel doesn't drive. Does he not? No. Wow. He hasn't even got a driving license. God, lazy bugger. But we stuck him in. <laughs> Bruce stuck him in this camp, this old school bus. But it was a whole six hour shoot and it was so hot, it was in the middle of the desert. But we were rock and roll because we kept getting on and off the tour bus and having cups of tea. Still got his leather jacket on. Still got his leather jacket on, <laughs> see? And the gun was a prop that um, was just left on the side and everybody kept picking it up and looking at it because it was a proper yeah, yeah. replica gun. Even Noel loved it. Oh wow, yeah. Everybody loves being a cowboy, don't they? With his guitar, that's brilliant. Yeah, it's like his guitar's in a holster. <laughs> yeah. And then this is something completely different. There is always a moment in, in Noel's gigs where the lights and you'll get silhouette shots of him mm -hmm. taking his guitar off, swapping it over for another song. Yeah. Or literally doing that famous pose. Mm -hmm. And there's always that different coloured light. And I, I just think they make such a lovely pair. Yeah. If that was a picture, even just this one, in, a, in an exhibition of like music. You would know that's Noel. You would know it was Noel yeah. Gallagher. Even more this. so on that one because his yeah. profile. But yeah, yeah, I agree with that one. Absolutely. Yeah. You would know it was him. Here we go, empty venue. Where's that? That's a It's the Grand Old Opera. <gasps> is it? Yeah. Oh, my mum and dad went there. They said it was amazing. It is it like, like a, a church. Yeah, I was just going to say, it is like a church. And it's like, that was just as sound check was going to start. And he stood there like that. And I was like, he's quickly scrambling before he moved. And I got that shot. I literally lay on the floor. It's so great. It's cool, isn't it? Welcome to my church. Yeah. Oh, this is great. So that's... Same gig. Yeah. Three different shots of it. Oh, wow. That's really clever. Mm. And that's in Tokyo. <gasps> that just shows the difference of the light from one... Yeah. It's the same, same setup, same, per same spot every time, but the different background lights just make it that bit funky. Yeah. Cool. I like that a lot. Is that, oh, is that Wella? Wella. He gets around, didn't he? <laughs> that was at Bristol, that. Bristol down. Do they like phone, just, how does it work? Do they phone? Just he was already playing okay, and I think like, Noel had said, oh, yeah. come on, he liked it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he did. Yeah, and they're good, they're really good friends. Really good friends. We were out one night and in the south of France, right, and I was <laughs> with Bono, right, and we ran, this, this is the fucking brilliant showbiz story. We ran into Elton John, right, okay. <laughs> As you do. In this restaurant. As I do. Yeah. Okay. As you do. Oh, fucking 76 million records here. I do. <laughs> and we ran his well. And I said for a laugh, yeah, let's get a picture. I'll send it to Weller because he'll fucking do his head in. <laughs> and uh, so the picture we sent him was me uh, like this in between Elton, Elton John and Bono. And uh, he texted me back immediately and it just said, you've gone too far. <laughs> <laughs> Laser. Love a laser. Laser. I love a laser. Again, that's that. You know who it is, don't you? Mm. So powerful. I don't really move a lot on stage, as you're probably well aware. And uh, there was one bit where I was in a, I was in a like a cage of lasers, and I was like, "Fucking hell, man! It's like being in fucking Superman. This is amazing." <laughs> it, it, you know. It takes away from the fact that I don't do a great deal on stage, although it does cost a fortune. He's like one of the few surviving, like, I think anyway, like, you know, we were talking about people that you've shot, so you've shot so many brilliant people as well, mm. like Springsteen. Oh, I love Bruce. Yeah. What a nice man. Yeah. Um, Dave Foo Grohl. Fighters. Yeah. yeah. Um, Rolling Stones. Yeah, quite a few. But oh, like, Stone Roses as well. Oh, wow. I shot them in Sydney Opera House. <laughs> Yeah, Stone Roses in Sydney Opera House. Wow. Go figure that one. But for me, he's almost, there's not, there's not many like iconic rock stars left in the world. Mm. No, you're right. And I yeah. think that he's one of them. Yeah. And I think that so much of this is like, you know, you're documenting the history of someone like that. Mm. Not just his history, but I think British music's history as well, mm. which is a... Sounds very... It's true. Very professional. It's very true. Cool. You are, yeah. though. It's like Thank you know, you. he's he's an, he's a he's one of a very very few icons, I think, that we have. 
I just know him as Noel. It's just cool. But you get that out in your pictures as well, yeah. I think. Thank you. This incredible exhibition, which really takes you on the road with Noel. You feel like you've been on stage with him in the band and behind the scenes as well. Can be viewed and purchased online at redhouseoriginals.com.